Hello everyone, this is NC Lord, and today I'd actually like to address a few things, including rulings, general rulings, in this rant box episode, episode 5, if I'm not mistaken. Today's episode, we're gonna primarily discuss link link rulings. As well as give my general thoughts and commentary on the matter. The thing about Link Monsters is they have gotten way more flack than Pendulums ever did. The reasons why Link have gotten so much more flack than Pendulums is pretty simple. Pendulums were more of an accessory to Yu-Gi-Oh. They didn't impose themselves on mechanics unrelated to them. Say what you want about Pendulums, but at least they left stuff that wasn't you know, not directly associated with them alone. The problem with Lynx is it's it deals with things that go above and beyond what we're familiar with, or whatever. Therefore, Lynx have created a whole other host of problems. Now, some of you might be wondering, how would Lynx work in DOR style? Luckily, we've already figured that out. To account for new mechanics, links will function effectively similar to they do in the normal one. Instead of there being an extra deck monster zone, there'll be an extra deck limit, because as you can see, the grid zones, or just simply card zones, depending on your uh, preference, there's technically 49 possible card monster card or spell and trap card zones in total. So obviously we have to change the limit. And of course any rulings where the limit would change or whatever would be applied to this just like it would normal Yu-Gi-Oh. And also pendulum scales will remain as dedicated zones, however they will count towards your spell and trap limit to counterbalance the whole thing. Thus, everything will effectively still hold the same implications. But you gotta wonder, what was Konami thinking? Like, this is why it would help to have multiple formats. Because multiple formats is just a good idea in general. Magic at the Gathering has been around for a very long time, and they've proven that having multiple formats generates more money. Like, honestly... I get that Konami doesn't want to copy them too much, but at the same time, it's an effective strategy. It's still a good idea to have multiple formats. I mean, you'll make more money with useless reprints, with otherwise useless reprints. It's just, it overall seems like a good idea. That's just my thoughts, you know. I, I'm, I'm not too big on Link Monsters because they forced relevance by drastically changing the gameplay to accommodate something like that. Like, Pendulums didn't even do that. This is a whole other category in terms of insanity from Konami's part. This is a testament to the fact that they probably don't care anymore, if you, if you want my honest opinion. Anyways, everyone, this has been NC Lord. I hope you enjoyed another Rant Box episode. I'm sorry I haven't posted very many videos lately. Funny enough, I actually tried to post uh, a video today, but um, there were technical difficulties, thus I had to start over. Like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy more of my videos.